press is a corporation. It's not. It's not a government institution right, for America. Right. I know that. Yeah. yeah. And and so is the um, you know all the land offices that tax you, the taxed offices. They're all franchises of the IRS, and they're all owned by the Vatican and Britain. So, so what's been happening is they've been bleeding us dry. And this has been uncovered by a whole bunch of historians and counselors at law. Now, not attorneys. Attorneys are all bar members. They all have to take an oath to Britain. What does None the bar mean? What does bar mean? For American. Um, you know, British, uh, British... Oh God, British uh, attorney register register or something. I can't. I'm sorry. But the, you know, but the just so you bar. are very clear on this, I am not the biggest expert on any of this, you guys. I have just educated myself as best as I can in a very short time. Okay. It is and I don't know it all. You can find people on YouTube that know more than I do. Sure, you sure. You can find books that know more than I do. I I just can mm -hmm. tell you the general story. Okay. The historians. Are there any names you have that I can Well, I know Anna von Reitz is one. Another one is um, David um, Strait, just like it sounds, S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T. -A -A um, actually, they're all over YouTube. Uh, let me think of some others, if I can remember some other names. Um, Kirk's Law Corner. Um, How do you spell? K-I-R-K. -K. It's a man. Kirk's Law Corner, L-A-W, Corner. Um, but you can always go to Anna Von Reitz and you'll get a lot of more names there too because she's not shy about telling you where she got information. Is she still alive? Yeah. Interesting. She is. So, so, so now we have the situation with the Civil War where our country was split, all the assemblies, which is how we used to govern our government, or foreign government that we called in, we basically supervised them to make sure they remained under the compacts and agreements and contracts called constitutions that we had with them. But when the Civil War came, those broke up and never reformed. And so I don't think my parents' generation, and I don't know about the generation before them, I don't think they knew there were supposed to be assemblies that governed these people. I don't think they knew these were foreign governments. But in 1935, the, co the foreign government that was the United States of America went bankrupt. And President Teddy Roosevelt signed a document where he agreed that he would put up the life and produce production of all Americans as collateral to keep his government going, his corporate government going. And that's when birth certificates started. So with the birth certificate, the parents have their baby, the mother is still in the hospital, only hours have passed, and the hospital staff comes and says, oh, here, you must sign this birth certificate. Now, prior to 1933, when this started, or 35, we kept birth records in our family Bibles. We wrote yeah. the names of who yeah. was born and when in the Bibles. <clears throat> right. Well, now we suddenly have birth certificates, and what we didn't know, because it's in very small print, these are considered uh, a very interesting thing. They're a bond, and they turn our babies into slaves for their entire life. They are considered owned by Britain. Britain claims that the, the living soul inside is not living, and that what there is is like a, like a ship, like a ship, which is supposed to have a living soul piloting it, but the living soul is gone. And the, the, the dead ship, the, the you know, the vessel, they call it a vessel, is um, traveling around with, and it's not alive. And so when they did this, they didn't tell us. But what they did is they used something called dog Latin, and all bar attorneys are trained in it. And dog Latin, See, the cat, D-O-G, Latin. It's dog Latin. Yeah. And you, there are books that attorneys study on this. In dog Latin, what letters are capitalized and how punctuation is used completely changes the meaning. For example, think about the last time you got a bill from PG&E, your power company. Do you remember that your name is in all capital letters? 